Hi, welcome to Apna Apartment Job. This is Durga Prasad. I have been working as a A exam trainer since 2016 in mathematics. We know that there are 30 questions in mathematics. Each question carries one mark. For the correct response, you will get one mark. And there is no negative marking for incorrect response. Now, in this session, let me discuss what are the chapters in the mathematics subject and what is the flow of chapters we are going to learn. And what are the important chapters we have to cover to crack AA exam with highest score. Now, here I am going to explain unit 1 which is sets, relations and functions. This is very very fundamental unit. Everyone who learns this very well, who are very strong in this unit, they can understand the next units also. So in this unit, we are going to learn definition of set, types of sets, operations can be performed on set, relations and the types of relations, functions and their types. Functions and types this is very very important concept in this and in this unit by the previous year exams analysis we may get 6 to 7 questions. Now let me look at the unit 2 which is very very important unit differentiation. So in this unit differentiation the very important and basic concepts are limits. Continuity and differentiability. Derivatives. Application of derivatives. Maximum and minimum. So in limits we discuss what is limit of a function. And what are the different shortcuts in order to solve a problem where is the in less time. Continuity and differentiability. Many of us feels that mathematics is just a numerical calculations but it's not true always if you learn the continuity and differentiability chapter you can apply this to your real life situations also see there is continuity you know the meaning of continuity which is continuous in life and differentiability we use differentiability to find rate of change so if there is a change in life there will be continuity in our life same like that we apply this concept to our mathematics chapter also and derivatives the process of doing rate of changes is called differentiability and how to find the process the method is called derivatives in this chapter we discuss many shortcuts to give answer in less time next what are the applications of these derivatives in this concept, we learn many concepts such as rate of change problems, increasing and decreasing problems and maximum and minimum concept. So this is overview of unit 2 differentiation by the previous year papers analysis. From this unit 2, we may get 4 to 5 questions. Now, let me discuss what are the chapters in the third unit, integration. This is also very very important unit. In the second unit, we did differentiation. Now, continuation to that, we will do third unit, integration. So, in the integration, these are the four very very important topics. Integration, which is known as inverse operation of a differentiation. So, in the integration, we have single integration, double integration and triple integration. So, in which cases we need to use single integration, double integration and triple integration, we will do. And the methods to find integration using shortcut, we will learn in this topic integration. Now, the second topic is definite integration. So, in the first chapter, integration we will learn only indefinite integration but in definite integration we will apply some limits and 
we will learn here what is integration means and what is the definite integration gives geometrically and then differential equations so this is very very important in this differential equations what are the problem given in the question paper by using a simple shortcuts we can solve within less than 1 minute time in differential equations in residue calculus very very important fourth concept we will use some expansions of standard functions like e power x sin x cos x tan x log of 1 plus x those all we derive in residue calculus those expansions are very very useful to solve many problems so this is the third unit integration followed by the second unit differentiation and if you observe the analysis by the previous year papers we are getting minimum 4 to 5 questions from this chapter 3 integration now first unit sets relations and functions second unit is differentiation third unit is integration so that is the part related to calculus in mathematics now let me concentrate on algebra part so that is unit 4 linear algebra so in linear algebra we are going to learn the concepts matrices determinants system of simultaneous linear equations in two variables eigen vectors and eigen values so matrices so what are the real life applications of matrices definition of matrices types of matrices determinants how do we use determinants what is a determinant explains simultaneous linear equations in two variables using the matrices and determinants how we can solve simultaneous linear equations in two variables maybe two equations will be given to you or more than two equations will be given to you a system of linear equations will be given to you you have to solve using the concept of determinants and some standard methods eigen vectors and eigen values how these are helpful so these are very useful in mechanics what is the rotation effect in mechanics so those all will be defined using eigen vectors and eigen values so just this is the overview of unit 4 linear algebra which we are going to discuss after completion of the calculus part linear algebra unit 4 so once if you observe the previous papers analysis we are getting 3 to 5 questions minimum 3 to 5 questions from the unit 4 linear algebra now after completion of fourth unit which is linear algebra we have to concentrate on numerical analysis numerical methods so under this unit numerical methods we are going to learn numerical integration so we already discussed about definite integration just that is by some methods we are doing the numerical integration but here this numerical integration will be explained by some theorems those are example few are trapezoidal rule simpson's 1 by 3 rule simpson's 3 by 8 rule so these are the very helpful rules in order to find a numerical integration problem and there are some shortcuts to do these problems in very less time we are going to discuss those also and as we discuss rosen and linear algebra part system of linear equations in system of linear equations again we discuss few more problems which are not discussed in unit 4 some new models we discuss in this which are related to numerical analysis part by the previous papers analysis here we are getting one or uh, two questions from unit 5 numerical analysis after unit 5 numerical analysis unit 6 is complex variable so in this unit 
complex variable we are going to discuss what are the applications of complex numbers how complex numbers are applicable in our real life situations in physics in mechanics and in dynamics and here we have fewer theorems which are very useful to solve the problems in lesser time and this is a small unit but very very important unit from here by the previous papers analysis we may get one or two questions will be asked from this unit 6 complex variable so after completion of the sixth unit complex variable we have another important unit is vector algebra so you know what are vectors and scalars literally vectors which have magnitude and direction scalars which have only the magnitude then what are the applications of this vector algebra in our daily life that we discuss in this vector algebra concept we have a small concept of uh, subtopics like operations on vectors addition subtraction scalar multiplication and dot product cross product scalar triple product and their geometrical interpretation why those are useful to use in daily life situations and if you observe the previous year analysis there is a chance to ask at least one maximum two questions from this uh, unit vector algebra so after completion of the seventh unit unit 8 is very very important series so in this unit series these are the subtopics arithmetic progression geometric progression convergent and divergent series definitely there will be at least one question will be asked from convergent and divergent topic and this convergent and divergent will be explained with the help of limits what we discussed in the unit 2 differentiation now if you observe the previous year analysis there will be at least two questions from this uh, unit series maximum there is a chance to ask four questions also so this is the last unit ninth unit heights and distances which is related to the concept of trigonometry in this unit we learn what are the trigonometric ratios and formula regarding the trigonometric ratios standard values for certain angles of trigonometric ratios identities compound angles multiples sub multiples transformations and applications of trigonometry heights and distances okay from this unit there is a chance to ask at least one question maybe when they want to ask somewhat tough questions they ask two questions also now at a glance let me observe what are the units we are going to do in mathematics chapter flow first we are going to discuss sets relations and functions after completion of it differentiation integration linear algebra numerical methods complex variable vector algebra series heights and distances here we are help to you what are the queries you have doubts we can post don't worry about your exam we will take care of that you are joined in apna government job we all a family so don't forget to keep these words a ship would not build to keep at sea shore we are always with you what are the queries you have doubts at any time 24 by 7 we are available to you so please utilize this chance and thank you very much from 25th of december we will start our planning to crack a exam thank you wish you good luck all